There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, let's see that thing. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. We're driving across the state of Utah to fish a small stream that runs along the south slope of the LaSalle mountain range. Beaver Creek was discovered to have a rare cutthroat trout living in its headwaters. I was told the fish were hard to find, the water was small and brushy, and that there was a pretty good chance that we wouldn't be able to find them. Challenge accepted. It's hard to find fishable water in this desert we call home. But it's out there, and a fish is a fish no matter how small. So join us as we find and fish our streams of Utah. Okay, we're here on the LaSalle mountain range. We're fishing for the green subspecies of the Colorado cutthroat. We're here on Beaver Creek. It's right, just right over here next to our campsite. But we need to go up to the headwaters well, at least up above the canal turnoff, so where they take most of the water uh, for half of the season. So we're going to take a little four-wheeler ride up the road here. All right, hope we can find this fish. Yeah. We are camped just down over here. The road curled back and around. has come back up on this higher spot so we can really see the canyon. But the canyon runs up this way and splits off to two legs. So there's right and left leg of the Beaver Creek. We're going to try and get up there on one of the legs and try and fish it. Okay, here's the stream. It's pretty small, but it's, uh, it's really not bad. This is the North Fork. Sorry, I was saying left and right fork, but it's actually North Fork. And the other one is the South Fork. There's not really a road on South Fork. You have to get clear over there um, and either hike it or maybe there's no four-wheeler road. I'm not sure. In 2009, a couple state biologists discovered a greenback cutthroat in Utah, but greenbacks are the easternmost subspecies of the cutthroat family, occupying the Arkansas and South Platte River drainages. Pictures provided by the Colorado Parks and Wildlife. Finding one in Utah so far from its natural home range was a big deal, baffling scientists, so we wanted to find one of these rare and unique fish to get a better look. Not so much as a fish spooked. Nothing. I mean, nothing. Nothing. Small stream, but there's plenty of habitat here. I started getting concerned that we might have driven across the state of Utah for nothing. Did you catch any cutthroats? Nope. What'd you catch? Got a, two baby horny toads. Oh, those are cool. Yep. <laughs> Little tiny ones, huh? Yep. That's cool. And no cutthroats yet. Nope. Yeah, like a big mayfly. Nymph. Looks like there's a lot of mayfly nymphs. A little green one. Or olive one. Alright, that's about it. Not even a living fish. This is what fish think are absolutely delicious. This is a big one. This is a this is a pretty big caddis. Well, all we've caught so far is horny toads and ticks. <laughs> and a baby gardener snake. Oh, and a baby gardener snake. Okay, well, we're finding them. We've seen two now so far. We had to come clear to the end of the road on the main Beaver Creek. So this is main Beaver Creek. I thought there was a north and south, but it's just south Beaver Creek and Beaver Creek. Okay, I was told there. finding and catching one would be difficult, and it proved to be that. Too fast. Don't move too fast. Okay, just crawl. Get down on your hands and knees and crawl. Oh. He came after it, didn't he? No, oh, he's not going for it. Something about it he doesn't like. Oh, did he bite it? Can I mayfly, maybe? Yeah. Okay, I see it. There. Oh my gosh! 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Keep trying. Keep trying. Good job, buddy. Oh. Man, he's like so selective. That one was going to go after it. That is the pickiest stinking fish. He's coming back for it. There we go. Okay, bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. Holy crap. You got him. Oh my gosh. You got him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's see that thing. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Look at that. Okay, let's get him inside the... Let's get him inside your net and get him back into the water. There you go. Got him? Okay. You got him? Okay, now let's let's get down here. Let's get down here and see this guy. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay. You hold the net here. Okay. I want to see on both sides. Oh, look at how pretty he is. What a special trout. Oh, what a beautiful trout on a dry fly. Good job, Asher. Thanks. Oh, let's see those cuts. Come on, let's see his belly. Wow. Wow. Okay, that clear is down here cool. in southern Utah, southern LaSalle mountain range. Wow, that was awesome. What a special trout. Turns out that these fish are actually a Colorado cutthroat, but have been isolated from their brother substream long enough to have developed their own unique characteristics. Okay, number two, I finally caught one. Whew, little dry fly, little atoms. But boy, they are pretty. Look at the, even even some spots on its belly. Check that out. Oh, so beautiful. Such a beautiful fish. According to Paul Thompson, Utah Species Recovery Director, that maybe in 10 years, the geneticists may call these fish an entirely different subspecies. But for now, being so closely related to the Colorado River cutthroat, they are defined by lineage. Beaver Creek contains the green lineage, while the rest of the Colorado and Green River drainages in Utah contain the blue. Paul said that the classification of cutthroats is kind of a mess right now, as new testing and techniques are changing things so rapidly. Look at that. They're just so pretty. They're really quite beautiful. You can see why they got confused by the greenback. They look like the greenback. But they are the Colorado, I guess. Oh. Okay, be a ninja. Sneak down in there. There's a nice one sitting at the tail end. He moved up into the hole. Moved up into the upper hole, but I can see movement in there. Hope it didn't spook him. Just take your time, Asher. Take your sweet time. Slowly sneak. Yeah, just kind of crawl down there. It's a good size one in there, buddy. Okay, see if you can sneak that in there. Spook him. Okay, bring him on. Bring him over to the side. Get him on your net. Get him in your net. Oh my gosh, you got him. <laughs> Holy crap. Good job, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Holy cow, did you get him? Oh my gosh, look at the size of him. Let's see, <laughs> holy crap, holy crap. Look at the size of that guy. He's huge. <laughs> okay, let's get him in the water here. Keep him in out of that water. And then just kind of, there you go. Look at the colors on him. Big male. Look at the spots on his tail. Oh yeah. Look at how sweet, how beautiful he is. All right. Beaver Creek is a unique part of Utah's diverse waters, and if you decide to make the trip to this little oasis in the desert, I highly recommend it. The water is small and the fish are hard to find, but it was definitely an opportunity of a lifetime to be able to catch and document this choice cutthroat trout. 
The native fish of our biodiverse state are important, and it is important to support these wild fish found in wild places. It's been a great adventure, and a really good time, met with a little challenge, one I won't forget anytime soon, and one I hope Asher will always remember.